Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlie, and I'm here with another video. I'm pretty excited. Um, Top Gun trailer just dropped, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a, a look. Um, let's hope it's as good as the original, bro. I mean, I don't see how they could possibly mess this up, but hey, it's Hollywood. They bring back dead franchises, or well, I wouldn't say it's dead. It's just it was meant to be one movie, right? So, anyways, let's go. All right, so I will say that the trailer already starts off with a a pretty good start. Like it's enough to give me like, okay, I'm feeling this. It's got better graphics, you know, better CGI, better things I can do with the movies now. So okay, okay. You can get a promotion, you won't retire, despite your best efforts. You refuse to die. So this isn't a remake, this is a sequel, confirmed by the tags <laughs> that I can see. Alright, so I like how they didn't pull the nostalgia card. They, it seems like this is going to be a more hardcore version of Top Gun. But I like that they didn't go to nostalgia rap. I thought this trailer was going to be like going through the nostalgia route. Like, you know, at first it shows you something new and then it plays into the danger zone. And then it starts all the little other shit. But no, this one said, fuck that. Fuck all nostalgia. We're going to do something completely different. And that was my problem with like Star Wars and other big franchises. Like, you're going through it and then all of a sudden they start trying to hit you with nostalgia. It's a sequel. We don't need nostalgia. It's a reboot. We don't need nostalgia. We need it to just be a good sequel. The end is inevitable, Maverick. You kind of set it for extinction. Obsessive. Nothing. That, that was the perfect, like, if you're going to make a trailer for, like, that's perfect. That's perfect, guys. That was the perfect trailer. If you're going to bring back a dead franchise, that is the perfect trailer. Because you don't, you don't bring back the end to the danger zone. Or you don't bring back anything to remind you of the old one. This needs to be a brand new story. You can tie it with the last one. But it needs to be its own complete story. And this is why I like the way they did this trailer. It's perfect the way they did it. Now whether the movie's going to be good. That's to be seen. But I'm excited for it. Because it didn't pull that nostalgia card. Did I watch the fucking Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. Whatever the hell it's called. 
the the new Sky, whatever that movie's called, and I watched the trailer, and it's going through, and boom, they played me with that fucking Princess Leia, I mean Princess Leia uh, music, and then next thing you know, it's like, oh, you all into the nostalgia, it's like, no, 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 I need a new soundtrack, I need new characters, meaningful characters, that can replace the old ones, because they were damn good, and you need to just stop relying on past past story arcs as much like they reuse the same fucking story arc that's the problem with George Lucas I'm sorry I went off into a tangent that has nothing to do with this movie but that's my opinion like these like in Hollywood if they could just learn to stop using nostalgia and fucking tired ass character arcs bro they could get shit done they can make a great sequel, even if it's old as fuck. Even if it's an old franchise like Top Gun. If they can just... This what Top Gun did today? Every movie studio needs to look at this again. Because even if this movie's not good, they at least got me on the marketing aspect. That it's not going to be like the old Top Gun. I don't feel like this is going to be just like the old Top Gun. I feel like this is going to be a more modernized, more accurate version of what Top Gun wanted to be in the first place. And if not, it's going to just have... It, it, it's probably going to progress his character in a different character arc. He's older. He's going to be different. If he's the same, bro, I'm going to hate this movie. Because he's a 40, 50 year old man now. Probably older. He needs to have a different character arc. A different... Uh, personality you change over time this this movie trailer does a good job of making you feel like he's not the same guy from the first Top Gun go ahead and subscribe thank you so much Arlen is and you have a good one alright